Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Kim Richard, she's back in rehab. You may recall she was arrested earlier this month at the Beverly Hills Polo Lounge. Mm -hmm. Well, before checking herself into rehab, Richards told Dr. Phil she'd been sober for a while, but she fell off the wagon after being estranged from her family. To the bottom line, it's, it's the overall outcome of where today is with my relationships with the people I love the most. And that's what really started getting me upset. And I poured a drink of vodka like that. I have not had vodka in probably 10 years. And I thought, oh my God, you know, what have I done? Ooh, Erica Spiegelman is a leading addiction specialist. She's also the author of the book, Rewired, A Bold New Approach to Addiction and Recovery. Wow, you said you see people like that every day. I do, unfortunately. People that don't, you know, people that don't take care of themselves after they leave rehab. Um, uh -huh. We call it an aftercare plan. Yeah. And really, most people need to have something in place, whether it's an outpatient program or a line of therapists set up, something that they can still feel safe and grow and evolve and learn more about themselves. But she just got thrown right back into the well, whole chaotic mess of that TV is show. Is she not in this vortex? I mean, is that the best place for anyone who has an addiction to be in? I mean, to, should not. she be on a reality show like that? Absolutely not. If she really was taking care of herself and being compassionate towards herself, she would quit the, the show altogether and really focus on healing and getting better and, and reconnecting with her family, which is what she says led her to relapse. Mm -hmm. A reality show, yeah. I mean, by definition, you watching someone take the right steps and take care of themselves is not exciting to watch. And, you know, these shows kind of encourage drama. Yes. They put all these women in situations where typically they're drinking and getting in fights with each other. Mm -hmm. Is your advice to anyone that is suffering from addiction to, to stay off television? <laughs> to, well, to stay off television and, really, and learn how to take care of themselves and implement a plan. Like I talk about in my book, Rewired, I really encourage people to be mindful of having time management in their lives. They have, a, they have small goals every week. They exercise. They eat right. They sleep. They're mindful of who's around them, positive energy. These women, obviously, are fed lies and gossip to one another and it creates right. negativity and then they start fighting and that only would cause anybody to have you know stress in their lives especially if you're being followed by video cameras yeah. and yeah and seemingly it, it seems like she keeps lying here because she says i wasn't drinking you know for several years then she admits okay i had a couple of drinks yeah. here and there yeah. i mean that must be typical it is i mean when people are trying to get sober and there's people watching them dishonesty comes up a lot and most people are in denial they really don't want to admit or face it because they're so ashamed sure. of their behavior and they're ashamed that they can't really quit on their own mm -hmm. so i would encourage anybody to take some time out of their work life and focus on their health go to an outpatient program, um, get a therapist, a spiritual counselor, whatever it is, and really start to reconnect and heal yourself. Heal the shame, forgive yourself, um, you know, have those conversations that are probably needed to have. And if someone you love, if yeah. you see someone you love struggling with this, because yeah. we see her sh sister on the show of has course. obviously been through it, yeah. you know, how do you help that person instead of shaming them it's it's you have to come to like a family member with a problem and and come to them with some empathy and say I'm sure this has been hard for you but we love you we want to be supportive of you things will get better and give them solutions there's so many wonderful things out there to help people get sober I mean, there's programs there's therapists there's you know 12 step programs if that's your sure. thing there's just so much in my in my book also I discuss other holistic ways of getting sober so there's a lot of great material out there no doubt it's not an easy journey as we've seen from her experience and from other experiences. Other. But yeah. Rewired. Here's, uh, yeah, here's uh, the information on Erica Spiegelman's book signing. It is this Sunday at the Diesel Bookstore in Santa Monica. Thank you, Erica. Thank, Thank you Erica. for having me on.